Sometimes in 98, the girl told me that she realized that between us, this thing really, that I was right, this is not going to work out. She told me. Um, that she spoke to them, they discussed with her that this just wasn't going to work out between the two of us. And so that after she spoke with them, they made decision they're going to come up with a better plan, with something more beautiful, uh, with more beautiful girl. Uh, something, according to my, as she cynically acts on my standards. And that's the story about that tree, that, that dry tree and that young tree, basically. That's what that is. From love, it turned basically into something else and it did turn into the stuff like this, into total mess. But yeah, I don't believe that ever that, that her idea was, uh, this shit started here in 95 in this forest, in 96, as soon as they came here, it started with this stuff. It was the, the idea, the program was to basically depress population in Slovenia, anywhere from workers to farmers to all kinds of stuff. Break us apart, basically, in every emotional, psychological sense. This was a psychological warfare that Russia, on behalf of Serbia, eventually launched on Slovenia. Now, the subject, a really, really popular subject, big subject was, this was a big ass subject sometimes in, I think it was a year 99. It might have actually been maybe even 2000 when I grabbed this guy. It was a Russian guy for whom everybody said he's a gangster, that he's a gangster and he had a store right in front of my store over there in Miami. And he would go inside of the store and he would tell uh, my ex-wife, Ecuadorian, Indian, oh, this is the stuff you buy from me, you understand? Here, boom, he threw some merchandise, electronic equipment, this. And it appeared to me that she was afraid of this guy. He just brought the stuff, throw it. She had to sign him a paper and she owed him a money for whatever price he wanted that this is the way it's going to be. And I told him, I look at a little bit that paper and I compared the prices and I realized that this was like totally, totally not affordable, this stuff. And so I told him, listen, sir, this is a little bit too expensive for us. We cannot afford this. We have distributors, we have a distribution and the same items that you were, you have here, we get it for less. It's not really convenient for us. We're going to pass on this opportunity. Uh, then he started to threaten. Then the only thing I did was I took his stuff and I put one outside of the store. And then he became physical and I grabbed him and threw him out of the store. Uh, it was a subject in the mainstream media. It was known as a gangster, a Russian gangster. This was in 99. 98, a Russian gangster, a Russian gangster, everywhere in the media was a Russian gangster. Then all of a sudden, I think it was like 2001, do you remember? All that disappeared from the media. There was nothing you could read anywhere about the Russian gangster anymore. Well, what the hell, in 2001, right? 9-11, you remember 9-11? So the gangster, the very popular subject disappeared from the media. It's because I think that a Russian state merged into what I just stated right now. It's a very bad subject, but I will not let go.